Let's get into this. But I wonder would you light up mine I've been feeling shine away from who I really, really am I wish the world would slow down so I can have my own peace of mind But I won't shine away from who gon' take mine Lord, would you pick me to shine I had a key to the golden gate to shine I wouldn't dare you to cross that line Today is about me telling you guys how I feel about being a father. So let me get into this. So being a father, you never know what, like, never, never know what, what happened, and you had like changes through your life and like it. Being a father to a daughter, to a son, no matter if you're having a daughter or a son, it make you better. It, it, make, it make you see more things more clear. It make you, I feel like to me, it make me want to make my career go even more faster. And it make you work more harder for things. And being a father, you gotta know like the things to do around your kid or things to do not around your kid you you gotta have you gotta, I feel like you have to stay at one pace when you are a father cause uh, being cause you never know like if you have a son or a daughter especially a son he should be your know, son he looks after you much because I know from my father or my mom but I learned from my grandma and my mom how to be a, a man. But I also taught myself how to be a man. Um, it's tough. It's tough. Just even saying stuff like this. Um, what makes your dad and what makes your father figure is I feel like just being smart and showing pe people you can do stuff more showing people that you can do more stuff in, in life and um, and I feel like you can touch people from the heart in the most places and I feel like that's just doing stuff like that and showing people what they mean to you or everything around everything is like a picture I feel like every story and every moment is like a picture I feel like that is like a father figure. Like people who like father figures and people who you inspiration, inspire, inspire, inspired by, they are like your father figures. Like I'm inspired by Kamala Ali. And that's probably something like so and so never taught me or so and so never taught me this or so and so never taught me. And, and I was wishing like so and so that person would have taught me when I was growing up. And I quote like a father figure. And I feel like well, I can't wait. The baby that's in my my, my woman's stomach or my wife's stomach, I hope it's a son of this because I want to show him things to do and what to not do or what what path you should go down or what path should you not go down or and stories and moments can be like languages. Languages, languages don't always gotta be like a speak out, speak out. Language can be like movement too. It could be a movement in different ways. And I feel like a father figure, like how to play football or how to fight or how to like technology. Technology don't always gotta be like a social media thing. It can always be like face to face. Technology is like um, knowing the person. And I feel like, <coughs> sorry guys. But I feel like everything is like a key knowledge. 
knowledge is like something like when you think about it and when you know it's what it is for what it is and i feel like that's what a daddy figure is like knowing the person can create a bond with the person to um see less what it is or or i want to be just like that person that's like a father figure in my eyes it is like i want to be just like that person that i grew up don't you idolize him and don't you wish that was like a father figure or he teach you things and you teach him things or like father figures are not always right because like you can know things your child can know things that you don't so you learn from them so they can learn from you just like like parents ain't, ain't always right I, I remember my mom and my dad and my grandma used to say they was always right and my grandma watched this and I know she gonna see this but like you can learn from your kid and a kid and a child can learn from I mean you can learn from your kid and grandma or mama or daddy can learn from the kid it's like it's like a, a never ending cycle like one of the five figures like an ocean sound. Sorry, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry for the music in the intro. But, like, everything is like uh, having a bond with a father figure or a, or a daughter or, like, your father figure. Being a bond and intercarnate is like an inspiration. Like, like, how can I say this? Um, like when your kid need to be talked to or they want your attention or they need you at the moment. Cause I feel like when I was growing up, I feel like I needed that. My grandma was always around to talk to. So that's why I learned. And then she taught me things too. And I'm and I taught her a little couple of things. And that's what's so good. And what's about me and her body. Cause we click like this. That's like my mama. I call her mama. She's she's one of the person like I want to start playing on this camera, but like um, she was there to talk like to um, she was there when I feel like nobody was really there for me. Um. It was like a special bond me and her head. Everything like clicked when we talked. And we talked about mostly inspirational things. And I feel like that can guide a person down a good path and a good road. Uh, she told me, never say you can't do nothing unless you turn up the temperature. And what that mean is if the temperature ain't high enough or can't be rise enough but if you can touch it if you can just lay your hand on it you can do anything you want to be never say not never say never if the temperature ain't on but if you can touch it, just know you are already successful. But let me get back to what I was saying. But like being how I look at being a father figure and why I see myself being as a father figure, I feel like I'm doing great right now. I'm doing great. Um, love in your kid is a special thing having a bond with your kid is a special thing that you have created loving your child every day and showing them that they can always have your attention is a special thing being honest with your kids and having that great bond with them and sharing things with them is a special thing. Loving your kid 
is a special thing. Knowing you can buy them anything, even though I, can, I can't do that right now. But I'm trying to build up, I can buy them anything they want. That is a special thing. I love my kids now. I'd do anything for my kids. And that is on me. I love my kids. They are everything to me. My two daughters are everything to me. That's why every time they do something special or something that's like worth everything, like a video of women standing up or a person saying that I, that is a key moment. That is a special moment. So that's why I always tell Cora to catch those moments because every moment is a special key. Only they can lock it up or have the key to that success. You only have the key to your own success. So make it worth your while while you can. Just like a bond with your father, with fathers, father figure, and who I am. I feel like that is a special thing. Every love and every connection that you have in life is a special thing. That's why I call my grandma every day. And I ask her, Mama, are you doing okay? Or, Mama, I'm just checking on you. Mama, or are you there on time today? I just wanted to check and see if you were doing good today. Everything or every moment is a special knowledge to only you have, only your success. Like, you have the knowledge to your own downfall. That's your knowledge to your own downfall. Nobody will know. You can't blame no one else but yourself in those rough times that you have. No one but yourself. But people try to blame it on others. And that's what's wrong with the world today because we gotta learn how to share. We gotta learn how to connect with each other. We gotta learn how to um, come together as one. All race, not just one race, all race. We need to learn how to come together. And I feel like that's what's special. If we all come together, everything will work out just fine. But yeah, that's my story, or that's my thing on when I see a figure or a father figure or whatever figure you want to be, a grandma, how you see yourself being a grandma, how you see yourself being a dad, how you see yourself being a mom, how you see yourself being an auntie. It's all coming together. It's all about coming together. Moments, joyful moments, joyful moments. Seeing yourself as less of yourself because sometimes you have that down moments and put yourself down, but you can't always go there. You gotta always push yourself up so you can become number one. Number one is the key. Everybody wanna go be number one. And I feel like. Life is all about togetherness. And guess who? Me, I said this, Zaya, Zaya Abel. <coughs> and guess what, Zaya was here. Peace, y'all. Just remember, togetherness and knowledge and having your own knowledge is key. Zaya was here. Boom, boom, bow.